God bless you and welcome today to the program Only Believe, coming to you from the studios in Duarte, California, um, thecrosstv.com. Our ministry is Garth Hickey Ministries, and our main message to you is, if you'll only believe, all things are possible to those who believe. All things are possible to you that believe. So today, we just want to worship the Lord with you just for a moment and set the stage for the Holy Spirit to come. Because when the Bible says that when we worship Him, the Bible says, I wish that men and women everywhere would lift up holy hands without wrath and without doubting. And as we lift up our hands to the Lord and we just surrender and say, Lord, I surrender all. You know, when we surrender everything we are and everything we have to God, then He can move in our behalf. And I want you to know that Jesus loves you. Today, Virginia is with me on the program. Hello, Virginia. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. And what do you have to say to these folks? Oh, I just want to tell you that Jesus loves you, and we have a great program for you today. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. So today we're going to worship the Lord because the Bible says that he dwells in the midst of the praises of his people. Is that true? Yes, what happens when you get into the presence of God, Virginia? Um, God starts to speak to you. When, when the presence of God comes, he, he, gives you, he gives you, sometimes he gives you a word, sometimes it just, it's, there's such joy. Sometimes you just laugh. Sometimes you just, you just want to sit in it for hours. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we're going to worship the Lord for a moment with you. And we're going to believe the Holy Spirit to come upon you wherever you are and bring you peace and bring you healing and bring you deliverance from all oppression. You know that David played in front of Saul and Saul had demonic problems. And whenever David would play, the demons would be stilled in Saul. And I want you to just call out to Jesus today and let him minister to you because he loves you so much. Hallelujah, Jesus. We just worship you, Lord. touch my heart like you do and I could search for all eternity long but I find Lord there is none like you receive healing right now receive deliverance there is none like you 
No one else can touch my heart like you do. And I could search for all eternity long, but I'd find, Lord, there is none like you. Lord, there is none. Like you, you know, whenever someone plays, if they're worshiping God, the Spirit of God can come right then and heal. The Spirit of God can come right then and deliver. I heard a story about a brother who was in, I believe, Mexico, and he was just playing in a tent, playing his guitar and singing a song about, it's in your hand, you hold a miracle. And as he sang that song, there was a man right outside the tent who was blind. And all of a sudden, this man just started screaming and jumping and shouting because he received his healing and his blind eyes that had been blind for years were opened instantly just while this brother in the tent played and worshiped the Lord. See, here's what happens. If you can get in the presence of God, there's no sickness that can come in God's presence. It's totally obliterated. If you can worship the Lord, there's no disease that can stand. There's no demonic spirit that can stand the presence of the Lord. So the way we come into his presence is how, Virginia? Lifting your hands unto him. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. He's, Hallelujah, he Jesus. He says to lift up holy hands. Lift up holy hands. Yeah. So why don't you lift your hands to the Lord right now? Thank you, We're going to sing one more song. Jesus. And I want you to receive. Just like lay back in God. Thank you, Lord. And receive healing from the top of your head you, to the soles of your feet. Blind eyes open. Deaf ears open, yes. bones Lord, be healed. Arthritis, get off of these people in the name of Jesus. Yes, amen. Every blood disease, be cleansed in Jesus' name. Yes. Every demonic spirit, we're speaking to you right now in, yes, the in the name of Jesus. Every demonic spirit, you have to go from the people. Mm -hmm. You have to stop right now. Yes. And all you need to do is say, Jesus, Jesus whatever, you do, whatever you do, do it to me. Do it to me. Hallelujah. Oh, the glory of your presence. We, your temple, give you reverence. So arise to your rest. So arise to your rest. And be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace. As your presence now fills this place. Oh, the glory, oh, the glory. Now receive his healing power in your life. Oh, your presence. Receive deliverance right now. Be your temple. Receive freedom. Give you reverence. So.
Hallelujah, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The name of our program is Only Believe. And our ministry is called Garth Hickey Ministries. You can reach us for prayer requests at garthhickeyministries at gmail.com. Garth Hickey, H-I-C-K-E-Y, ministries at gmail.com. And you can give to the ministry either here at the Cross TV, or if you want to give specifically to Virginia and I and the ministry, you can go to Circle Pay under Garth Hickey. God bless you today. We're going to receive the word, and God's going to give you a brand new word for right now. Amen. It's a new day, Amen. and God will do a new thing for you today. Amen? Amen. Virginia, what can God do for somebody right this minute? Well, just as we were worshiping the Lord, he can give you joy unspeakable, and he give you peace and understanding like you've never had before. There's nothing like the worshiping of the Lord and, and being in his presence and receiving. He'll give you joy unspeakable um, that comes from nowhere other than him. Amen. Glory to God. Yeah. You know, the Bible says that the joy of the Lord, <clears throat> that's your strength. Mm -hmm. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. How do, how, how do you account for the joy that you have, Virginia? Oh, gosh. It's only, it's only the Lord that has... He poured out his joy upon me. I was born with it, but then the Lord gave me even more joy when he baptized me in the Holy Spirit. And um, when he, it was like this blanket of joy. He just poured out this blanket of joy over me. And I just wanted to share that. It's just like bubbles out of you. And it bubbles out of me to others. And so that's it's it's hard to explain but it just is the lord coming forth amen can you go to galatians 5 22 okay. area yes you know the joy of the lord is one of the fruits of the spirit and the joy of the lord if you allow the joy of the lord to come up out of you if you're born again the joy of the lord is in you if you're not born again if you're not a christian a christian means you've at some time in your life said, Jesus, be my Lord and be my Savior. So if you've never done that, you need to do that. But once you do that, the Spirit of God comes inside of you, and one of his fruit is joy. And the Bible says, joy unspeakable and full of glory. In Galatians 5.22 there, it talks about the, the uh, gifts of the Spirit, I believe. Yeah. So would you read that passage? But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Interesting. Mm -hmm. The fruit of the Spirit is, first of all, what? It is love. Amen. Now, some people <laughs> teach that the fruit of the Spirit is all these things. Other people teach that the fruit of the Spirit is love, and then joy, and, joy, and peace, peace, long, long suffering, suffering. That means putting up with people a long time mm -hmm. and putting up with situations, sometimes a long time, long-suffering, love, joy, peace, long-suffering. Gentleness, goodness. Gentleness is a fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody can be a warrior and be gentle, mm -hmm. except when they need to be the warrior. Interesting. Yes. Gentleness, and then what? And then goodness. Goodness. One, one of mm -hmm. parts of the fruit of the Spirit is goodness. Mm -hmm. Because the Spirit of God in you is good, you're good. You know, I heard a lady say, I can't love my mother-in-law. I hate her. But you know what? If God's love is in you, you really don't hate her. Mm -hmm. If you check right down in your stomach, right down in your gut, you don't really hate your mother-in-law. You have a love for her from God's love. Because mm -hmm. his love came inside of you the moment you were born again. And if you draw on that love, if you draw on the Spirit's leading and follow the Spirit of God, he'll help you love. Amen. He'll help you do things you can't do because it's his fruit that needs to start dominating you and your life 
instead of the old nature, the old man, which was actually Satan's nature. Yeah. People call it the Adamic nature, but it's really the satanic nature because Adam got Satan's nature when he fell and sinned in the garden. Yeah, so, so go ahead, Virginia. What's the next fruit? So the next one is faith. Faith. And actually the word translates faithfulness. Mm -hmm. It translates to be faithfulness. Mm -hmm. So these, you know, a lot of us had trouble with all these different things in our life at times. But the more word of God you put inside of you and act upon, the more you become just like Jesus, who was a, the epitome of all of these gifts of the Spirit and these fruits of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And you become like the Lord. And a matter of fact, in, in uh, 1 John 4, 17, the Bible says that as Jesus is right now seated at the right hand of the Father, so are you in this world. So, Virginia? So when you accept Jesus into your heart, these are the, these are the gift. this is what you get. You, get. you get joy, you get love, you get peace. All those things are, are what you get when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And you, you may feel like you're going to give up something, but the only thing you're giving up is, is, is the sin nature. Go to uh, John 15, verse 1. Okay. And I want to talk to you about this. All these things are deposited inside of you in the form of a seed when you are born again. Mm -hmm. And there's such a thing as seed faith. Seed faith. I'm going to take this off so that you can see my eyes mm -hmm. a little bit. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. But when Jesus deposited his divine mm -hmm. life in you, that's a seed. And it can all be brought forth to manifest all over you. And the Bible says, work out your own salvation. You work out the salvation that's been placed inside of you with fear and trembling by being led by the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that those that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Now, if you read in John 15, Virginia, mm -hmm. starting with verse 1, and I'll stop you as you go. Okay. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Now, this is Jesus' words. Mm -hmm. He said, I am the true vine. Think about a vine, a grapevine. Mm -hmm. And you, you think about a grapevine that grows all over, um, sometimes on sticks, sometimes on a wall. But it's the vine, and the root of it's down in the ground. But then the vine, Jesus said, I am the true vine, and even I'm the root of the vine. And then on, on that vine eventually comes, if things, all things are working right, grapes, beautiful grapes come on that, which make wonderful wine and etc. So you have this grape vine, and Jesus likens himself to this. He says, I am the true vine. In other words, the real life. The only true Zoe life comes from me. It doesn't come from anybody else. It only comes from me because I'm the true vine. And then he says, and my father is the husbandman or the farmer or the gardener or the tender of the garden. Mm -hmm. And then he says what, Virginia? And then he says, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Okay, wait a minute now. Did you hear that? Jesus is talking and he said, every branch... Mm -hmm in me. So if you're not yet born again, you're not in Christ. So you need to say, Jesus, be my Lord, be my Savior. I confess you as Lord. I believe in my heart. You died on the cross for me. And when you do that, when you ask Jesus in, he'll come in. And then you're grafted into the vine. Amen. You have the Spirit of God comes right down inside of you. So the Bible says, every branch in me, what happens? Um, every, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he okay, taketh away. Okay, every branch in me. So that means a believer who doesn't bear any fruit. Yeah. What happens? God takes it away, takes them away. God the Father, mm -hmm. the husbandman, mm -hmm. removes that branch. Mm -hmm. There's a scripture in the Old Testament that says, he that continually hardens his neck mm -hmm. or, or makes his neck stubborn against God and what he wants from you is suddenly and swiftly cut off, and that without repair. can't be repaired. It's mm -hmm. cut off. Why? Because that vine needs to grow, and if there's a lot of dead stuff on the vine not doing anything, then a farmer or a gardener goes out and cuts off all the dead stuff mm -hmm. so that the rest of the vine can really produce what it's supposed to. So you need to be a believing believer. 
And you need a believer who's a doer of the word, lest you be cut off. Amen. So it says what now, Virginia? And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Okay, and every branch yes. that bears fruit, he purges that or prunes it and makes it mm -hmm. pr so that it can pr produce more fruit. So you need to be doing, obeying God. You need to be doing what God wants you to do. Amen. And then God will see to it that you'll grow more. And then what's it say? Then it says, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Okay, so as you, as you stay in the word of God, as you keep reading the word, as you keep listening to the word, it cleanses you. The Bible mm -hmm. says it cleanses you from all sin. Yes, amen. So go ahead, Virginia. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. Okay, hold it right there. Mm -hmm. God said, this is a command to believers. He says, abide. Abide means pitch your tent. It means take your tent and put the stakes deep in the ground, set it up so it's going to stand. Build your house on the rock. Mm -hmm. Abide in me and I will abide in you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say I'll abide in you if you abide in me. He says, first abide in me. Get in my word. Let my word get in you. And the Bible says, and I will abide in you. And then what? And then, um, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. You cannot produce fruit mm -hmm. unless you're abiding in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And to abide in Jesus means that you meditate in his word day and night. It means that you put the word of God in you on a regular basis, every day, day in, day out, that you have time of praise and worship where you're worshiping him, that you have time with God where you have intimate time where you're listening to him. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, Virginia. And then it says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Okay, Jesus again reiterates that he's the vine and that all those in Christ are the branches. Mm -hmm. And then he says that, what did he say there? He, he's Those that, that abide in him? Yeah, he that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Okay, so the condition is both that he abides in you and you abide in him in, opposite, mm -hmm. in the opposite. First you abide in him and he'll abide in you, and he'll see to it that you produce much fruit. Amen. But the opposite is true. If you don't abide in him, you can be in him and not abide in him according to the scripture. Amen. Yep. You can be in Jesus and not abide in him because you spend no time with him. You have no intimate relationship with him. You don't worship him on your own. You don't go among other people in fellowship. So today, we just want you to understand, and the last thing it says in verse 7 is, in verse 7, it we have says, one minute. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Now listen to that, you guys. That's a tremendous promise. Mm -hmm. It says if you abide in him, he abides in you. You can ask whatever you want to because you'll want to ask things that are in line with God Amen. and that will bless you. Amen. So today I want you to just receive what God has for you right now. Father, we pray over the people. Yes. Lord. Satan, take Thank your hands Jesus. off their lives. Mm -hmm. We demand that every power, every principality, and every ruler of darkness loose their lives and Thank let you, them Jesus. go free yes, right now in Jesus', Jesus name. name. And Father, whatever they ask for as they abide in you, the Bible says mm -hmm. they'll receive. Mm -hmm. As they abide in you, even as they abide in you is the key. Yes, yes. So if you're not receiving, you need to abide in him. Yes. Get in the word. Thank you, Lord. Let it saturate you. Mm -hmm. Study the thing you need. Study the, the word that you need. Mm -hmm. And if you're giving, remember you can give online um, to thecrosstv.com or you can give to our ministry at Garth Hickey Ministries. Um, uh, just go on to, what's it called? Um, Circle, Circle Pay. Pay. Circle Pay. And you can give there. Yeah. God bless you. You have a great day. Jesus is Lord, and we'll see you next week. All right. Amen. Amen.